Welcome to our Chavruta, and thank you so much for being courageous and for partnering with me on this brand new program, this multi-generational opportunity to learn Torah together. I am so excited, and I know that some of you have taught Torah for many years, and still others of you, most of you, have never taught Torah before. And that's what makes this even more exciting. I want to tell you that even if you've never taught Torah before and you're nervous, maybe have a lack of confidence in being able to do this strange new thing, I invited you because I know how much you have to offer, how very lucky our children are going to be to learn with you. And I know that you're already an expert in this and I will explain to you why I have total confidence in you. First, I just want to share that the word Havruta is Aramaic for friendship, and it refers to that very special learning relationship that we have when we have a trusting partnership while we're studying words of Torah. There's a difference between informational learning and transformational learning. Informational learning is when you have a field of study that you're trying to explore and master, like math or science or literature. And transformational learning, which is what we're going to be doing, is where the field of study is you. It's actually not Torah, it's you. So you are not burdened with having to teach the academic scholarship of Torah. You're not teaching about authorship or chronology or characters or who begot who or the geography of the land or dates or, you know, historical influences. You are going to be using tiny bits of Torah as a springboard into talking about our everyday lives. This is about finding those magical places where our lives, our perspective intersects with, uh, with the teachings of our Jewish tradition. It's kind of like if you go on a trail and you find a beautiful vantage point, and from that viewpoint, you see all of this um, extraordinary, uh, these extraordinary sights. It's not about dissecting the sites into every, identifying every species of plant, every type of strata of earth, every um, animal, every critter you see, and researching them. It's just about gasping and saying, wow. If you have a moment when you're studying Torah and you say, wow, that's achievement. Not if you remember who Moses' mother is. Although it's nice to know that it's Yocheved, but it's really about, um, those moments of wow. You're the author of your life and so you're an expert in your story and we're teaching children to reflect on their stories through the lens of Torah. So I want to just show you where to find the information on the website. This is the home page of our website, templeisaiah.com. When you go to the learning uh, tab up at the top, scroll down, you see religious school. Under religious school, you scroll down um, four sections and it says our Havruta. Now I realize it's hard to see um, in this video, but it's there. And under our Havruta, you can click where it says full program details here. And that will give you more information about our Havruta. In that section, you can download our Havruta booklet. And this has all of the information for all the classes for the entire year. Now, I wanted us to just start by looking at um, page eight. Page eight is, I'm just gonna take you through the basic structure of each class. Each class has a summary, it ha and that's really for you. That's your summary, you, for you to understand what the Torah portion is about, but you don't have to teach the summary. The goal is not to get through the material. You really don't have to get through the material. The goal is, if the, group, if the group has an engaging conversation that is, is rich and meaningful to them, even though you've only read one word of Torah text, then hooray, that's a success. Now, of course, every group clicks in a different way. Some groups uh, get along very well right away. Some groups are really talkative. Sometimes there's a shyness that takes over, and all of that is okay. We are not following any kind of cookie mold. Um, we want to really um, to be in the moment with these children. So each Torah portion, each class, you, it, your material has a summary of the Torah portion, which is just for your information. Then it has a section called <clears throat> Gems of Torah. 
gems of Torah are verses of Torah with a little bit of commentary. And then you have a section called Midah. A Midah is a value or a Jewish characteristic, a Jewish trait, a virtue that makes us a mensch. And then there's also mitzvah, a commandment that is somehow connected to the Torah portion. Now, you might look at the section on Noah, and your job is really to prepare is to just read through these few pages, it's three or four pages, and pick out something that speaks to you. So it might be as small as in the Noah section where it says, God tells Noah to make a light for the ark. So that might be all that you want to teach. And you might say, how, how did God ask Noah to make a light? There was no electricity back then. Wouldn't a candle be dangerous with the rocking of the boat? It might all catch on fire. Um, what kind of light would God be talking about it? Is it a window? Would that, on, you know, if it's raining so much, wouldn't a window be dark most of the time? Are there other ways that we make light? Is it a light like when something's really heavy? How do you help someone to lessen their load? What's really helpful when you come into these classes is to have one or two personal vulnerable stories that you're willing to share. If you're talking about finding light in the darkness, maybe there was a time when you felt lost or afraid and with a special word or a glance or a hug, um, or, some, or a dream, there was a light that came to you that lifted you. Um, you might talk about how ideas are often portrayed as light bulbs. Now you might bring up one little bit of Torah as a springboard and students might not respond to it in that moment and so you move to the next one. All you need to do is to read through the couple of pages that are associated with that week's Torah portion, all of which is found in this brochure for the, underneath that date. There's a table of contents. It's very easy to find. And pick out maybe two or three little touches. It could be in the Noah section under mitzvah, it says that we are commanded to feed our animals before we feed ourselves. So it could be about talking about pets. And maybe you have a pet that you have a story about your pet and what does it mean to have compassion for the littlest creatures in our world? Is it just about compassion for each other? How do we take care of animals? So read through the section, read through the chapter, three or four pages, find two or three things that stand out to you and one or two personal stories and create a sacred friendship with these children. There will be a special video for each Torah portion to help you along if you find yourself a little bit stuck. And I'm always just a phone call, text, visit away. Thank you so much. I am so excited and so grateful. And um, thank you for being on this team. It's going to be wonderful. Take care.